In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can mix and match templates when using the Slideshow Creator. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers. You can actually take entire slideshows and put them together, though their themes and appearances are different, into a larger slideshow. You can daisy chain all you want. Or you can take different sequences out of one slideshow and put them in another. We're going to do that in this tutorial. So I'm going to click on the Tools menu in the upper left corner and click on my Slideshow Creator from the pop-up menu. It wants me to import photos. I can do an image file. I can do a folder. I have some in the media library, some random shots. We'll just take a handful of these, not too many, and highlight them and bring them in. Then I click on the next button. What it will want to do now is select a theme or template. Now, if I'm going to mix and match, I cannot use any of these that have a single title. I need something that says theme designer underneath it. And we have lots of them to pick from. So let's take this modern album. I'll highlight that and then click next. It will create the slideshow and bring into all the animation the images that I've selected. Now, it starts out with love album. I really don't want Love Album for this because it has nothing to do with love. But if I drag the playhead through, it does have this nice deal where it's got pages turning. And I like that, but I don't want it love. And when I click near the end, we're going to see it closes. And then the, it shuts again and it says Love Album. So what I want to do in this case is change only the beginning and the end. Now, I can use this technique to change as many sequences inside my presentation as I want. We're just going to do a couple. Let me click on Customize. That's how I get to a different slideshow template. This opens up my Theme Designer. And the Theme Designer has these areas in the top that are called Sequences. These are pre-designed animated sequences that will take your images and turn them into something it likes. You notice here the first sequence has this love album. And if I scroll through it, we're going to see what it does. It, exam it opens it up, and I get to the front first page, flips it over, and then it does whatever it wants to do that's pre-programmed with that first page. I go to the next sequence, and I have these slides here. It continues from the last clip and it does its own predetermined thing in that segment. I can take any of these segments I want and delete them. It won't delete the original media. I just press the delete key and that sequence is gone. I can press it again and I can press it again. I can move a sequence around. I can take this one here and I can move it over here in front of the other one so you can reorder the sequences and change them. But my big issue with this particular one is the beginning and the end. This is the end and this is the beginning. I don't want to use these because this isn't about romantic love. So I'm going to bring in a sequence from another template. The important thing to remember is where is the background music coming from? The default here is the first page. I can use that or I can import others. I can download music or I can say no music. My personal preference is not to use any music because I'd rather put the music on the final track myself, but you can choose what you want. Because I'm going to replace the first sequence, the music will change from what's with this template to the music that's in that template. There's no way to wire around that unless I want to import the music from the template structure which means I go into the Cyberlink subfolders on my C drive and find it. I'm not going to bother to do that in this particular case. So, but let's replace the first and the last. So how do I do that? To import anything from another template, I click on this little funny icon to the left of the arrows. And now I can add a different one. Now it only allows you to do some that work within the theme designer. So any of these is fine. Let me take this travel one. Now, if I click on the upper right hand corner of the image and click the box, it will highlight every part, every sequence in the travel one. I have an opening sequence, 
middle one, middle two, middle three, and closing. I don't want all of them. So I'm going to uncheck the box. I'm only, only going to check my opening one, which I want, and my closing one that I want. And then I'm going to click the OK button. So now it has taken these two and put them here because that's where my default cursor was. I'm going to take the first one and drag it to the beginning. I'm going to take the last one and drag it to the end. Now, I don't like the other ending. This is the one where it says love. So I'm going to highlight that and delete it. I'm going to take the first one. It says love album and delete that. Now, the problem I have, have that I have to address here is this first sequence that I imported has no images. So I have to manually bring in images from my room here. I can actually bring in something quite different. I can import media, anything I want. So I have images. I also need to look at the title. So the title simply says my title. This will say vacation. And I have another text that's add text here. I really don't want to say add text here. So I'll highlight that. And I'll say welcome. And so I have what I need for the first sequence. We can play a few seconds of it. Let's see how this one starts. <laughs> And then it continues. I'll just drag on here. You see the we have this organized graphic and then it does these things with my first images, which of course I can replace. And these images are the same ones you see on the left side. And I can swap them around all day long or replace them with something else. So that's my first sequence. Let's look at the last sequence that I pulled in. And you notice again, I have blank images. So let's drag down a little farther. Take something I haven't used before and drop these guys in here. And then I also have a my title. I could say goodbye on this one. And then we can scrub across it. And that's how this one ends. But the one before it still has the page turning, which is what I liked. So we're going to stick with this one, scrub across this. We have the pages that are turning. It's focusing on my images and then it switches. Let's click on OK. And then I'll click on watch. It'll change. It does. I'll click on next. And then let's do advanced editing, which basically drops it to the timeline. So it's going to take these pictures that I've used. In this case, I used a few, so it's going to repeat them over and over till you're bored. <laughs> but uh, let's look at the ending here. I can get, I don't want to play too much of it. Okay, let's see how it transitions from the page turn to the other one. Okay, so we have this new ending, this new beginning. Now, as I said before, you don't have to touch the beginning and the end. You can take an entire sequence from a different template and put it in the, anywhere you want in the middle. You can take a third one, a fourth one, a fifth one, combine and mix and match to your heart's content. But that's the core of the process of combining, mixing and matching theme templates when it comes to working with slideshows and the slideshow creator. Empower Director.